Okay, now on to Frank Ifield singles. Um, I haven't got a great deal of these, um, but I've got a few to show. Um, starting off with Frank Ifield's very first single called Lucky Devil, which for first singles, quite good. And that's on the nice green Columbia label. Um, shows it's like from the early 60s, 1960. Yeah, it's actually from 1960. So there. Um, and the B side is Nobody Else But You, written by Ifield. It is a few B sides actually, to be fair, gods. Um, coming up now is I Remember You, um, probably his most well known song, and it is really good. Um, this is on the Green Columbia label again. Um, if you haven't heard that song, I'd definitely give it a listen. Very good. And that's backed with um, I Listen to My Heart. I think uh, one of his best bass sides is one actually. There's some nice harm high harmonica on that. And that, that is written by Frank Ifield. Um, now is uh, another copy of I Remember You on the Green Columbia label. Um, except this one is in better condition than the one I've just shown, and also um, has smaller font on the label, um, so it's a slightly different, you know, label variation. Um, now is uh, the black label copy of I Remember You, um, which is the single I mentioned before that I got on holiday last year, which was the first time I ever heard the song. Um, very good. This isn't a brilliant copy of the single, you know, but it's alright. Got it from a charity shop for about 50p. And uh, this is the copy you tend to see more often. Um, now, is another of these well known singles, which also got to number one uh, Lovesick Blues. It's one of those singles where it's kind of so bad it's good, you know. Um, he does a lot of yodeling. And it's an acquired taste, I'd say, but once you get into it, it is really catchy. And this is uh, 1962, this one. And that's back with She Taught Me How to Yodel, which is is okay. I mean, it's it's one of those things where it's either okay or it's annoying. Depends on, on uh, how much you like that sort of thing. Um, now on to Nobody's Darling But Mine. Um, again, quite a big hit. Um, it might have even been number two on the charts, I'm not sure. I might be making that up. Uh, but here it is anyway. And this is on the Black Columbia label now. Uh, th the year was 1963. Um, I'll say now there are quite a few holes in my uh, Frank Ifield singles collection, so these singles don't necessarily come one after the other. And that's back with You Don't Have To Be A Baby To Cry. Um, now is the same thing um, except again it's a slight um, label variation the font seems to be slightly smaller there's your side again uh, nobody's down but mine is a very good Frank Ifield song um, now another of his more well known singles um, Confessing That I Love You I think this could have been a number one as well um, and that's still on the Black Columbia, of course. And that was 1963. Backed with Walton Matilda, which is also a well-known song by Frank Ifield. Um, probably not as good as the other side, but you know. Uh, now, this is a Frank Ifield promo single, Say It Isn't So. Um, and backed with Don't Blame Me. Um, I think there's actually a double A side this single because it's got the uh, the red A on both sides, so I think it's a double A side. And uh, next is "Summer Is Over," which is a pretty good single actually. It's um, one that I haven't heard that many times, although um, it is very good. And that's uh, back with "True Love Ways." The Buddy Holly song that about 50 million people have covered, but it's still really good. Uh, we can't first publish 1964, so that's where we're at now. Um, Paradise. 1965, this one. Yeah, this is where I've got like a lot of singles yet to get. Um, and that's backed with 
Goodbye now. I think I feel it was more of like a early to mid sixties out so but like by this point his singles weren't doing very well anyway, so.